So I'm Paul Green, and I'm the BSBI Ireland officer, and I'm just covering Sarah Pearce while she's on maternity leave. And I'm going to talk about the BSBI Aquatic Plants Project 2021. And this is funded by the National Parks and Wildlife Service. Can't get a slide to move. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so our aims of the project, education and training, recording and visiting under-recorded areas. Education and training. We plan to run some online webinar training sessions. These would include groups like pond weeds of broad leaves, water starworts and water crowfoots, and hopefully some more of the other critical groups. And we're planning, hopefully, to have the first webinar in late, late April. And if COVID-19 restrictions permit it, we will also have days out in the field. These are not likely to take place until July, but more realistically in August and September. Recording. This map is an example of how many different species of pond weeds have been recorded in each hectare across Ireland. And as you can see on the map, where my mouse is moving on cursor, is County for Man, and that's by far the best county anywhere in Ireland for pond weeds. And as you come further south, counties like Leash are rather poorly represented, and so is most of the southwest west of Ireland in Kerry and Cork. So visiting under-recorded areas. We're going to use maps like, like this one to guide us where to go on our field trips. And as you can see, there are a scattering of red dots produced over the map. And all these have 10 pond weeds that haven't been refound in the last 20 years. So this is where we're aim some of our field trips. So down where my curse is moving, we'll have a two or three days hoping down in Cork and wander into Tipperary and Limerick. And we'll also have some meetings in the Midlands and up in the Northwest. Nick Stewart will be our teacher, and there is no better person to learn from. He knows everything there is to know about plants that like to grow in the water. And this picture was taken of Nick in 2019 in one of our training sessions back there. And he's standing in the middle of the river collecting material to show the participants. We always have great fun days out, and participants from previous years love to go paddling. And as you can see, they're all rather well out into the water. And we always visit great sites, have a great bunch of people, see lots of really interesting plants and always learn a lot. I put this slide in, it's, it's a great example of the success rate the Aquatic Plant Project's had in previous years. Last year, short-leaved water starwort, that's a mouthful, Calatrixi truncata was found in Lockree in counties Longford, Roscommon and Westmeath. Prior to this, it's only known from the tidal stretch of the River Slaney in County Wexford, where it's locally abundant over an 11 kilometre stretch. It was first found in 1897 by E.S. Marshall. leaf water star is, is also a plant on the Floral Protection Order of 2015. And it's also a good example of how difficult and under-recorded a lot of these critical plants are because where it grows in Loch Ree, it's so abundant it must have been there for years and just overlooked by field botanists including myself because I've been there many times over the years. And in due course you'll be able to find out more about the Aquatic Plant Project 2021 in the BSBI newsletters what are sent out at least once a month on social media on Twitter at BSBI underscore Ireland at BSBI Botany and using the hashtag Aquatic Plant Project and on Facebook at Irish Section BSBI. I would like to take this opportunity to thank National Parks and Wildlife for funding the Aquatic Plants Project and also for funding the BSBI Ireland Post. Without their support, Neither will take place. <clears throat> also, a thank you to the National Botanic Gardens Glass Never for providing the office space. Unfortunately, I've not yet been able to take this up since I've been in the office because of travel restrictions, but hopefully later in the summer. And Andy Amlet for producing distribution maps using this presentation. And if you want to find out more about this project, you can contact me at paul.green at bsbi.org. I just have one last slide. 
We also plan to run a grassland project in 2021, and we hope to start this project later in the year. We are waiting to hear if our grant bid has been approved, but please do keep out, look out for updates on BSBI website and social media, because we should be launching that hopefully in the next few weeks if everything goes to plan. Thank you.